Hi everyone, my name is Simon Oliveira. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your VS Code for Netcore Test Automation. First of all, let's check our topics. The first topic I will talk about what is VS Code. Netcore is the key, VS Code extensions, and creating a solution of project for test automation in using C Sharp and Netcore and how to restore build and test your project using your Touch Explorer. It's it's a similar idea of, of the Touch Explorer of Visual Studio. The packet manager using Nugget and the last not the least the debug. And the first topic is what is VS Code 2? VS Code 2 is a, a powerful code editor that supports developed operations and coding, debugging, task running, and the version control. You can use the, 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 the version control inside of the, this tool. This tool supports several languages. You can code using Python or C Sharp or Java on other languages. You can customize your UI, and if you are using Python, you can check some extensions to help your your job. And you can download the, the VS Code using this link: code.visualstudio.com. Install it and open. It. When you open your VS Code 2, you can check this interface. So, the net, we'll talk about the Netcore SDK. Netcore SDK is a free and open source framework. You can use it with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And before the launch of Netcore, we were using Net Framework, right? And you can develop project Netcore project using Visual Studio 2 or VS Code. And you can download it in the website of Microsoft. After download it, install it and check if it's working fine. You can use this command .NET version .NET version and we will display your version. Okay, let's move on. The next topic is about the VS Code extension. VS, VS Code extension yeah, it's a way to customize your development tool and for Netcore, we have some important extensions such as Formula Henry.net and to install a, 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 a new extension, you can check it. this menu, Extensions, and search your extension. In this case, Formula Henry. Dodge.net dot .net card tools and you can see the, the button install there. The next it's a dot .net test explorer. Uh, the install of this extension is similar to the before. Just search it it here dot .net dash explorer you can install it too. The next is that uh, is our Nugget Packet Manager. You can check this extension and install it similar that the others. GM or OG. There is our extension. You need to install it for 
our Nugget Packet Manager. Just install it and it will work. The next is the ms.net to C -sharp. You need to start it. You can find it here. .net tools.cchart There is. Install it and then it will be fine. This this extension will help you to work fine. And the last is the VS Code icons. The VS Code icons and for me it's one of the best extensions that help you to to check check and see what 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 kind of the the the, the project and the file is and some colors and some icons displayed for us okay just start it you can find more extension using the Visual Studio Marketplace check it for other languages and other features Docker, Python, Terraform and others to create a, a new solution project we will focus on test automation for it we will create a any unit project create a solution you just need to open a folder right I'm using the folder testing and using CMD right and using this command .NET new SLN hope in our name of the solution test solution after this we will display a successful message and let's check it there is our solution so, after creating the solution, you need to enter in the solution folder. Here we can use cd command, right? And now we need to create an nunit project. And nunit is a, it's a test unit framework for C -sharp. We just need to use this command. .net new nunit any unit project any project the name of our project no matter what you can use the project will be created restore and check in the folder there is the folder and the CS project in the first class okay we need to after a while we need to add our project to our solution. To do this we need to use this command .NET SLN add a new project and unit project dot CS project. Sorry. I'm sorry, I forget the A. There is. We can check in if it's working fine. Open the solution and check in this line. Alright. Let's move on. Next topic is about the restore building test. Restore for what we did when we we have some some dependence in our project we need to restart it to use to test it our project in this case the test automation for it we can execute this command using dot net restore we just need to use the vs code tool let's open our folder with our new project and testing there is it's fine now we need to open a new terminal 
and use the common.net restore. When we use this, this command, we will restore our project in our packet. Let's check it. All right. After restoring our package, we need to build our project. Build our project. The meaning of build is is there is to to create our artifacts with the extensions .dll. We can execute this command using .net build .net build. Just do it, and a message of success will display. All right. After a file, we need to test our tests. Run our tests. Yes, bingo. We have one one class here with a test with this annotation, and let's run it. Dot net test. Okay, one test base it. It's fine. Dot net test. The test explorer for me is the one of the most important features of Visual Studio and we can check it in, on VS Code 2. We have this the opportunity to use it. This, do you remember? That this is a feature that you can check the task categories, run tests, and check the pass, skip, and fail tests in, in real time. It's very important. And we need we just need to use this extension, .NET Test Explorer. Our first topic or the second uh, was to to do it. To did it. When we open here, we can check the Tech Explorer installed. And here we, we, we have an icon with the name Test. When we click it in this icon, we will display, we'll display the test, the number of the test of the project. This is a test, test 1. The test 1 is this test. Right. If we, we rename this test to test two and open it and refresh, it will discover a new test and display test two for us, right? And you can run your test here, clicking in this icon, or here, or using the command dot net test. It's the same command. And there is other features here that rest refresh and when you change some something in your test, create new test, for example, let's create a new test. Just to to show for you test four and save it, refresh, we we'll display two tests, test two and test four. Here is okay. This is an important feature for test automation. When we use data-driven testing, and this display the the all the tests, no matter if you are using the data-driven testing DDT technique for test automation. The packet manage. For packet manage, we use the nugget our dependence using the nugget we need the this extension installed vs code nugget packet manager we already installed this station in our vs code right we can install using curl shift and p curl shift and p and open some some options here Two options is are important for us: add packet and remove packet. 
right? These options. Let's check one example. Let's add package and add a Selenium package just for test. There is a lot of options. We will click on one of these options and check the, the version mm, 3.1. Okay, and let's restore our, our solution, our project. And now we can check it, the new depend, dependence, the new package in the CS project. Let's check it. The line number 10. We have a new extension, Selenium Driver. So, how to delete it? And after a, a build, we can check the DLL created for this new extension, Bing Debug Netcore, and it will display here. Just need to restart and build. And when you want to remove some packet, you just need to use this option and click in this case in Selenium web driver. So where is the line day? <laughs> the nine the line ten, sorry. It's fine now. Okay. For the bug. Debugging it's a it's an important step for test automation to find some problem, to fix problems and to search and read the values of variables. For VS Code we have the tab to debug. We can use the, the tab run here, debug and run, and we have some actions to debug and debug options. Let's search our code. In this case, we create a breakpoint here and use this option, debug dash. When you click in this option, we will display the variables to watch what is happened and some options here on the top of the of the VS code, right? That is it, and if you want for more information about VS Code and test automation, and subscribe and keep looking with this channel. Thank you.